All right, so we're gonna be showing you how to rebuild or get to the differential plates, get the differential part and back together. First step is pulling this axle out. Now you can use a slide hammer with a hook or an axle puller, or you can you know, use a punch on the back side up through here on the back side of this. And it's just a little you know, ring, snap ring. I'm just gonna pop this up and over there. You come right out now that the ring is compressed. There we go. I hope this guy didn't really take care of his car and it's full of crud, but... Okay, so that's what that looks like on the end there. And then what you have is a seal here. So we're going to go ahead and pull that seal out. I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, trusty seal puller. Pop this bad boy out. Okay, now there is a snap ring right there. When you remove that, tension is going to come off of this plate. Now to get it to go back in, you don't just press here. It will break this outer cover. You have to pull it from the bottom. So we're going to use a, you know, a puller, uh, threaded rod down through the bottom. We're going to put a nut on the bottom of the washer. And then where it has the two arms up here at the top, we're going to crank it down. And it's going to compress down while pulling up. And then we can sink the snap ring in from the side. So I'm a little tricky there, but I'll show you. All right, let's see if we can get these pliers, these snap rings off so you can kind of see the what's going to happen here. See, it's got pressure. It doesn't want to come off nice, but you can hear it. It's trying. Come on, come on. I'm going to have to get a, a little screwdriver to gently prod that around the edge. Okay, so now this ring will come out. There's some washers in behind there. They're going to come out as well. Let's go ahead and pull this up off of there so you can see. And there is where your clutches are, your clutch plates. Um, so, you know, be very careful to keep these organized. These shims are very important. Um, as you can see, ooh, some metal has been chewed up in there. So... As you can see how this all comes out, shim, uh, larger plate, roller, some more shim here to allow oiling, and that's it for this. I'm going to put those back in the way they came. For this side, that roller there is uh, in that, in that where you see Getreg, that plate is what's actuated by pressure going into that tube. It pushes that plate, which pushes down on this clutch mechanism which again make sure everything comes off properly you got your ring that you can see the rollers have been rolling on then your spring and now we get into clutch plates and you're going to want to be very careful again with this to make sure these all come out and go back in the way that they should align there properly go ahead and see if we can Take a look at that there, yeah. All right, so you're gonna wanna reassemble everything the way that it was, including, you know, putting that snap ring back on there, but obviously it's not gonna lock down in place. Then you're gonna use a puller like this and stick it all the way down through there, leaving the Y spot so you can get your pliers on there if you have to, or at least be able to chisel that down. Then the bottom side of that, you're gonna put washer and a nut and you're going to tighten it and you're going to notice it compress and you'll keep checking poking this and what that's doing is pulling up from the bottom side as well as pressing down on this outer side you want to make sure you're pressing on this ring all right so just to be clear okay this washer it has to go inside the diff it has to go up inside there but not be so large that it pulls through okay because that's engaged what's inside of there. If you notice like this, you can hear it and see it kind of pulsing as you pull it, okay? And then we're just gonna spin this down. Now, as you can see, it's tight, it's compressed, and there's a gap in there. It's gonna get the flash on. So now we just need to take this little punch here and boom, look at that. We are back in place, almost. Come on, I'm trying this one-handed. Okay, now it's back on there. It's down in the clip. And so we can just 
Now remove the, the pressure from the spring, from the puller. And, this, and again, it, it very easily goes down. Like I didn't even brace it. You'll see how easily I can just hold it in my belly and pull it loose. Like I'm not even holding it. Like literally, if you're torquing this down tight, it's going to pop the middle of this out and break it, okay? So now it's all reassembled. This should easily spin independent, but it should stay tight, no wobbling. And then we'll go ahead and take that nut off and you're done. That's how you rebuild it. And you know, you should rebuild it. If you see that some of the early models had like where the little pins would back out on those little gears inside the diff and uh or the if you haven't changed the oil or if you've got a rattling noise or you've done a lot of track days and those clutch plates are worn out then you know you need to replace them and again ferrari and mercedes won't sell you those it's a, it's a wear item but they won't sell them to you but you can just come to me and i will get them for you and then charge you a fair price and you won't be getting ripped off if you're dealing with mercedes though you probably just need to get a rebuild and mercedes will sell you a rebuild unit for 14 grand and guess what ferrari and ford did that they put me out of business well for transmission rebuilds you know but anyway they won't so here i am